I wrote this song in a cabin in the woods. That's 100% a lie. Um, I'm gonna just play this, okay. One. If I had one. If I had one more. If I just had one more. What would I do if I had one more? What would I do for just one more? What would I do to get one more? What would you do if you had one more? The song will never see the light of day. I mean that in quite a few ways. As I was writing it, it decided to rain today. I even wrote it on the left page. So if you chose to open my notebook, you won't see it right away. What am I trying to say? I contain a great weight in my brain. I've heard these words I'm laying could take away. It's basically how an atheist views a prayer, a misguided, one-sided conversation with their creator. And I'm still contemplating saying it to you. I'm not an opportunity knocking. I'm just a dork who needs serious torque to storm through a door you keep locked so I can say that I maybe adore you. I'm not planning to keep these feelings a secret. I'll speak it and beat fear when I see you in just a week. It, it's just, I probably won't tell you how deep this well goes. Hell no. Instead of lessen the load, I chose prose. Mephisto. Mephisto, 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 what's this though? I don't know. I don't know quite how to resist, yo. Mephisto. Mephisto, feels like the devil's got my heart in his fist, yo Feels like a demon is squeezing all that exists, yo The red fiend is feeding on happiness Yo, don't know how well that's gonna go, so be delicate You make my game texting weak and you're Kobe's relative Normally I can form the cleverest sentences I see you when my brain has no premise and leaves the premises But it isn't just your presence Presently I think about you when it's Christmas And I wanna give you all my presents But I'm verbally hesitant My heart's about to jettison from my chest For this affectionate affliction that isn't medicine But this is therapy, right? This is supposed to help Writing all these words I can only say to myself or can it be this is an even worse plan for me? A slippery cycle till my psyche dies of insanity. On the surface, I'm calm inside, panicky. From Monday to Sunday, it's just another manic week. But fuck the wordplay, it's time I spoke with relevance. It's time I spoke the truths I can prove to be self-evident. Mephisto. Mephisto, 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 what's this though? I don't know, I don't know quite how to resist, no. Mephisto. Mephisto, feels like the devil's got my heart in his fist, yo Feels like a demon is squeezing all that exists, yo The red fiend is feeding on happiness Yo, I drew the hearts on the corner of the whiteboard On your door over the summer in the dorm second floor Hope it's not sinful, but just for your info I also cast a couple of stones at your window I almost told you how I felt on your last day As I helped you pack, but alas, I watched you right away And anyway, it wouldn't have worked to tell you that day Cause I met your mom and grandma and you already told them I was gay Now I didn't blame you for that I didn't really suffer That allowed us to hang out and then get to know each other See, that's my biggest fear now, a week later Later. The reason these feelings haven't reached your ears is that they're stuck on paper Afraid of losing the special bond that we have through my own stupid selfish attempt to add something more to that But if our friendship peters out and this was all in vain and won't erase my memories You'll always be my Mary Jane Mary Jane If I only had one more day Thanks. Okay, Sean, that, yeah. uh, you know, you don't have to share everything here, but it does help our show. Um, <laughs> that, that song, to get the exclusives? <laughs> yeah, man. Well, that song, was, it seemed really personal. Um, can you go into how and what gave you the idea to write it and what you're kind of communicating with that Mary Jane character? Sure, sure, sure. Um, so that, the whole, so the song is called, I probably should have, told the title but the song is called Mephisto and it's it's important for a few different reasons um uh do I go into the personal one or the nerd one first uh I'll go I'll go into the personal one first because I'm gonna spend a lot more time on the nerd one so the personal one was I I had a crush on somebody um and I knew going in that like like nothing was gonna happen right I knew 1000 percent but the but I was still it was at a point where I was like you know I like this is more about me actually having the balls to go up and actually say it 
Because it, it would normally be something that I'd be like, okay, much like the rest of my emotions, I'll just repress this and just fester it deep inside until it forms a black hole of death. Um, but I decided not to do that this time. Uh, I didn't share this song with the person, um, but I did, like, I did, you know, get up there and, and decide to, you know, hey, by the way, I like you. You put um, yourself out there. I did. I did. Yeah. And, and it's, it's sort of a celebration of that aspect. Um, now the nerd side of it. Um, it being called Mephisto is actually a reference to uh, the comic Spider-Man One More Day, in which it was a, a horrible story where uh, Spider-Man and Mary Jane, uh, Peter Parker and Mary Jane, had been married pretty much in the comics. Uh, I forget the exact date, but like for a long ass time. And along comes this book, and they're like, hey, what if across all continuities, we said, fuck that, and the, like, shit, I have to go really into this. All right, so because of Civil War, because of Civil War, Spider-Man had to reveal his identity as Peter Parker, which was secret to everybody, and everybody knew, and so then Kingpin hired an assassin to try and kill him, but in the bullet actually ended up hitting Aunt May, and Aunt May was going to die. And Spider-Man goes through all these other yeah. avenues to try and save Aunt May. And he goes to Doctor Strange. He goes to Tony. Can you, you know, buy her some better health care? Uh, can he buy us all some better health care? Uh, you know, <laughs> he, he goes to all these different avenues. None of them are turning up. Everybody says they can't do anything except for Mephisto. Kind of the devil. And, uh, and at first he's like, oh, what? Yeah, you want my soul in exchange to save my aunt. And he says, no, I gave up on that years ago because the righteousness of, you know, people who do that, they're like, oh, yeah, even though I'm suffering in hell, you know, I know I'm suffering because I gave my life for this. So the, he got bored with that. And then he was like, I, I deal in a much more savory thing, and that's eternal uh, unhappiness. And so he decides that he would wipe the marriage from history. He would take away their love and their marriage. And that's what that's what the story ends up being. And it and it wipes it out across every comic. Every comic, Spider-Man and Mary Jane are no longer married. Um and that really pissed me off <laughs> on a on a deep personal level. And uh and so there's a lot of there's a lot of other little like hidden references. I mean, obviously in the beginning I say one more, one more a lot, and then eventually one more day to, for the title. And then there's something about the number of times Mephisto is said in the song for anybody who's playing back. For any for in the future when people are watching this video and they're hitting rewind. <laughs> Which you can do anytime. Thank you, YouTube. Uh, Just gotta give us money.